वर्क सर्टिफाइड मीन्स विच इज सर्टिफाइड बाय इंजीनियर वर्क अनसर्टिफाइड मीन्स विच इज नॉट एट सर्टिफाइड बाय इंजीनियर वर्क सर्टिफाइड डिवाइडेड बाय कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इनटू हंड्रेड दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर वर्क कंप्लीशन A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session three of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are discussing the topic called Methods of Costing. Under Methods of Costing, we are discussing Contract Costing. Now, in today's session, we will not work out any problems. but in today's session we will learn concept before we start contract we should learn few concepts now the concepts are very simple your agenda notional loss work completion general reserve what is notional loss what is work completion and what is general result we'll understand one by one as per this work completion how to find out like before we go to 3 i have another 3 we discuss that again i'll come back to these things work certified and work uncertified what is work certified and what is work uncertified now just assume that there is a construction contract what kind of contract construction now there are almost 100% work has to be completed but it is almost 3 years work first year 70% work completed how much work completed 70% now what happens the contractor or the worker says that i completed 70% then what owner will do he will call engineer again i'll repeat now if worker just assume that you are the owner i am the worker now i says that i have completed 70% what owner what you will do you will call engineer what engineer does he will come and check everything after checking he got to know that 55% work completed how much completed not 55 65% work completed engineer is signed that engineer approved that 65% work completed now what happens here now 65% work certified certified by whom by engineer now balanced 5% will be work uncertified hope you are clear what is work certified what is work uncertified work certified means which is certified by engineer work uncertified means which is not yet certified by engineer hope you are clear yes we done with this topic now work certified over work certified uncertified over now what is a profit and loss account in your contract if it is a 2 years contract the second year whatever profit you get we call it as profit and loss your income is more expenditure is less then we call it as profit and loss hope you are clear you understood what is work certified you understood what is work uncertified you understood what is profit and loss account now i'll go back to your first slide work completion notional loss and general reserve what is work completion every year 
once you done with your contract you have to find out how much work is completed that is called work completion just assume that there is a agreement between me and you you are the owner i am the worker now what is the total agreement the total agreement is 50 lakh what is the total agreement 50 lakh now so as per our agreement i have to complete your work i'll get 50 lakh from you now in the first year first year i have completed almost 25 lakh i have completed how much how much this is work certified how much i completed 25 lakh now in this what happens we have to find out how much work is completed now 25 divided by what is your contract price i'll show you the working note work certified divided by contract price into 100 this is a formula for work completion what is the formula of work certified divided by contract price into 100 now what is work certified 25 lakh what is the contract price 50 lakh into 100 i have completed 50% of the work hope you are clear how to find out work completion work certified divided by contract price multiply with 100 you will get work completion now what about this notional loss now what is notional loss means you have 3 years contract year 1 year 2 year 3 now year 1 you have done your contract account your income your expenditure if your expenditure is more income is less we call it as notional loss second year second year your income and expenditure income is less expenditure more notional loss third year third year income and expenditure income is less expenditure more we don't call it as notional we call it as net profit because first year work not completed second year work not completed that's why we cannot call it as net profit or net loss we should call it as notional profit or notional loss what is notional approximate approximate profit or approximate loss hope you are clear yes now the last topic is general reserve what is the general reserve now once you done with your contract for one year you will get notional profit in the notional profit you have to find out how much will go to reserve how much will go to profit again i'll repeat after doing notional profit in this how much will go to reserve how much will go to profit that is your calculation now i'll don't go in detail why because while doing problem i'll explain you but just remember if your work completion your work completion is less than 25% no calculation no further calculation if the work completion is 25 to 50% 1 by 3 1 by 3 if your work completion is more than 50% then it will be 2 by 3 clear now these things i'll explain you in the next session while doing
problem. Now, I'll show you this slide, only two slides are there, nothing important, only concept you are supposed to remember. Your concept, concept part two. This is all about your today's session. It is the smallest session, but the topic is very important. Thank you.